Hi everyone. I've never done one of these gob on a stick type videos before. And I don't know how it's going to work out and I'm lousy at this sort of thing. But I just thought I'd try it as a, a bit of an experiment really. Well, what are we going to do now? We can't go down the pub. I mean, honestly, who on earth has been going down the pub? Why can't people just do as they are told? Anyway, they won't be able to now, so they'll go to the supermarket and get whatever is left in the alcoholic variety and simply gather in some sweaty little den and mix that way. Do your own pub. It's all very frustrating, isn't it? It was quite a nice day today and I did have to go out. I had to go and see my solicitor to sign my will. Now, this wasn't prompted by the current situation. This was just something I was going to do anyway. But they kindly expedited it for me so that it, uh, it was done in time before we are all completely incarcerated. So that's put in place. And after I left the solicitor's office, I had a kind of walk around um, the centre of Chippenham. And I was so neurotic about staying away from people. And is anyone coughing? And is that person? And I was going down one street. It's a beautiful street in Chippenham called St Mary Street. And um, I saw a middle-aged gentleman walking towards me on the pavement. So I sort of did this kind of thing and pretended I was crossing the road. And then he got in his car ahead of me. And then I looked, tried to look as if I'd changed my mind and walked in the, in the original direction. Um, I didn't feel comfortable, frankly. And I decided, therefore, to return home and I've been back here since about 11 o'clock this morning and just well kind of trying to get my 8,000 steps a day um, not 10,000 I know it should be um, the day before I didn't go out at all and I covered I covered nearly five miles inside this flat according to my my Fitbit thingy. Um, then what to do? Well, I got the um, Viacal, not Viacal, Killrock, Killrock, the one that works. I love that slogan. And I took the scale off my stainless steel kitchen sink, so that was mildly satisfying. And then I had a look around my books what can I read? Because, you know, reading is always good, isn't it? And recently, before all this nonsense began, this terrible crisis, not nonsense, in a charity shop, I picked up a book I've always wanted. And I heard about it during a lecture years ago at King's College when I was reading geology as an undergraduate and one of the lecturers knew one of the authors of London Under London so that's something I can have a look at um, it's a fascinating book uh, lots of lovely illustrations and very interesting bits and pieces and so on Anyway, I've been very much wondering what all of you have been up to, how you're coping. I think we're at different stages in the transition. Of course, the first shock is realising that our way of life is gone and the means of communication are much better than the the old tap code, which I'll try and do a video on at a future date, where prisoners in solitary confinement 
communicated with each other by a series of taps. Of course, now we can do all sorts of things, and that's lovely, isn't it? But, as I said, we're in the first stages of um, sadness for a lost way of life, but it's only temporary. It may be a long temporary, but it is only temporary. And I think it's quite normal to feel terribly sad and, of course, to feel extremely anxious. And if you don't feel both of those things, there's something really rather Vulcan about you. I think we'll move into the next phase, and I kind of see it's beginning in me of acceptance. We've lost something and we have to move into accepting that we've lost it. The good thing of course is that we can see an end to it and there will be a time when we can resume normal life. It will be long, up to 18 months, to not just develop a vaccine but of course vaccines need to be tested. I was interested to see that they were missing out the stage one of a normal cl crit um, clinical trial where you test on animals and uh, the first vaccines have been tested on human volunteers and knowing researchers as I do I can virtually guarantee that one of those heroic volunteers would be uh, researchers. But still, it's going to take a long time. I am hopeful of things like antibody testing, testing for active uh, presence of the virus, and that doctors all over the world are experimenting, if you like, for want of a better word, on combinations of already licensed drugs, already licensed antivirals, anti-inflammatories anti and other interventions and we may see some much quicker progress then. So it may not be as long as 18 months. The Queen has issued a statement, not uh, uh, an address to the nation. Of course she is very vulnerable as is her husband. I can't quite see how they're isolating though because they live in big like houses that are full of people. They don't do their own cooking and they don't sit alone all the time. There are people coming in a staff, this, that and the other. So I don't see how that works but anyway she's issued a statement which is good and if people are moaning and complaining because she didn't do it earlier, she does act on the advice and direction of the government. Anyway, she's issued an appropriate statement and, and good. <laughs> and I don't know, have you been following Harry and Meghan on Instagram? It's an absolute scream. So what they've done is they have done a little Instagram about how they're going to be a portal for the world, for all the reliable information, like Public Health England doesn't exist, like CDC doesn't exist, like WHO doesn't exist, and like even BBC doesn't exist. No, your first choice is Harry and Meghan's Instagram account. I mean, really, she must be really upset, really upset, that she's knocked off the headlines by lavatory paper and a virus. She must be absolutely gutted. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now and um, post it on the WhatsApp group and see if you hate it or not and if you hate it that's fair enough and if you if you um enjoy it in any sense then perhaps you'd let me know um i i really i think of all of you all of the time i'm, I'm so glad that um 
that Carol has joined us and of course it must be absolutely awful for you Carol I I feel for you it's a double grief a double loss you're experiencing not just the way of life but of your dear sister-in-law and very glad to see that Jerry has joined us and we'll try and um, expand the world-changing discussion on the Fulham County School for Houses. <laughs> Lancaster, red, Stuart, blue, York, yellow, um, and what was the last one? The green one. Perhaps you'll fill me in. Anyway, everyone, have a very good evening. Stay safe. Be well and wash your hands. It works, I hope. Bye.